Hey guys, so today we're going to do a rendition of a uh, hamburger. I decided to do it for Memorial Day weekend, just something a little bit fun. We're going to do uh, what we call a garbage burger. Actually, when I used to work at a different restaurant back in the day, this is a really popular hamburger, so we're going to get that going for us here. So um, I'll say we've got some hamburger here. I've got Angus beef. There's four different kinds of cheese. I actually have uh, provolone, uh, Colby, Monterey, and then a cheddar on top. And then we've got some lettuce and tomato we're gonna work with. I've got a split top bun that I've already put mayonnaise on. And then we also have some um, onion and some mushroom as well today. And the secret ingredients that's gonna go on there is gonna be guacamole and marinara. So it's gonna be a little bit fun. So let's see what we can do here. First step is it's gonna take this hamburger a while to cook because it's a thick patty hamburger. So we're gonna get that going here on the right hand side. We're gonna go ahead and stick it right on there. And while we've got our wax paper, we're going to press it down just a little bit. We're not making a smash burger. I'm just making sure that we get all of it seared to the bottom of that. So we're going to let that keep going there and let that get cooking. While that's working, we've got some onions and mushrooms. And we're going to get the onions and mushrooms going. And we're going to make a lot more than just enough for this burger. The family's going to have some too. So we're going to get all these going in here. So first thing we're going to do is take a little bit of oil, take our oil on the griddle, have to work that around, let that get nice and hot. Now I've got the right hand burner on a high, but I've got this one on a medium right now. So we're just going to get this going on a medium. Get all that goodness out of there. We'll do the mushrooms on there right behind it. Alright. Now I like to put a little bit of butter on there to get the butter sauteing inside of it as well. I found uh, squeeze butter is super simple to use. So if you can find that at the store, that's definitely something that I would recommend. Doing. A little bit of flavor, We've got some garlic salt. We're gonna put some garlic salt onto all of that. And including our meat. that cook up there a little bit. You need to grab my gun right back over there. It's starting to get pretty hot. I had to pull my hand away. <laughs> So we've got this left side right here completely pretty much done. The mushrooms are done. The onions are getting pretty much browned here so you can see how they're doing. We're going to turn this all the way down to low and I'm going to push the onions all the way to the edge. The lower part just kind of simmer over there. They stay hot but they're not going to cook nearly as fast now. Now we've got a dome and I'm going to take this dome and put it over our hamburger just to let that trap some heat in there and help start to kind of bake that a little bit. So while we've got this griddle right here, we're going to take some of our butter and put a little bit of butter on here. And I don't need a lot because we're using mayonnaise on our bun. But we're going to get this spread out a little bit. And let's go ahead and get our mayonnaise bun kind of cooking here in that butter. And we'll get, let that get a good sizzle on there. Now remember we turned this one all the way to low. So it's going to take a little bit of time to toast up and crisp up. But we'll just keep an eye on that and make sure that it's good. 
take a look at our hammer to see how it's doing. All right, so let's go ahead and give our hamburger a good flip, and this is where we're really going to get into some fun. So we're going to take the hamburger, and you can see that beautiful seal that's right on top of there. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take a little bit of our soy sauce, so we're going to put just a little bit of soy sauce on top of that, kind of let that seep down in there a little bit. We're going to take some guacamole, and we're going to put some guacamole, just about maybe a tablespoon, right in the middle. And then the trick to this is we're going to put a divot in there. A little bit more. So we want that hole to be right in the middle. And the reason why we want that hole is when we put this marinara sauce in there, we're going to have the marinara kind of be like a little pool inside of it. Our next step is, let's check our buns and see how they're doing. They could use a little more time, but we just check them, make sure they're not overcooking. You can see the nice little glistening going on there. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of our mushrooms now, and our mushrooms are the ones go on next. Because the mushrooms are gonna kind of stick to that guacamole, it's gonna stick to the marinara there. And then we're gonna have a little bit of hole and the holes are what's going to go with the grilled onion. And the grilled onions are going to go right on top, right in those holes. Okay. Now we want that guacamole and that marinara to get warm. You don't want to eat cold guacamole and marinara. <coughs> this is where we're going to take our dome and stick it back on there for a minute. And I like to go ahead and take a little bit of water and we're going to steam that in there. Cut that out. So we know our buns are now done. And while that's still cooking on the griddle, we can go ahead and take some lettuce. We got some lettuce, we're going to put that right in there. I like to take the lettuce and uh, kind of shred it a little bit. It helps elevate the hamburger off of the bun. That way the hamburger is not going to get soggy. The bun won't get soggy rather. Then we put our tomato right on top of that lettuce right there. Now the cheese, I've got four different types of cheese here like I talked about. Um, we're going to put that right on top of the hamburger now. And it's going to sit right on top. And then we're going to go ahead and steam that here as well. Take a look and see how we're doing here. So let's go ahead and open it up. Take a look. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just melted doing this. Just delicious right there. Let's go ahead and we're gonna put that right on here onto the bottom. And then we'll take this on top. Right there. Check that out. How's it ever gonna fit in your mouth, you think? Well, that's kind of the fun of a garbage burger because this thing gets a little bit messy, which is why it's called a garbage burger. Let's take this over into some light, get a knife, cut this in half, and see what it looks like. What do you say? Time to see the magic. Let's cut in this and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Juicy, delicious. This thing's gonna be amazing to eat. Take a bite and see how it tastes. Mm-hmm. That right there, Memorial Day. <laughs>